Dr. Robert Gallo, the co-discoverer of HIV and a pioneer in virology, has dedicated his life to fighting one of humanity's most misunderstood viruses. As a global HIV researcher, his work continues to save lives through education, early detection, and scientific advancement. You could have HIV right now and have no idea, not a single symptom, no warning, just life as usual while the virus silently spreads inside you. Let that sink in. The first seven days after HIV exposure are the most dangerous, not because of how it feels, but because of how icily it goes unnoticed. Most people experience what seems like harmless flu, mild fatigue, or nothing at all. And during this time, they're at their most infectious without even knowing it. That's why this video is not just information, it could be a wake-up call. I'm Dr. Robert Gallo, an HIV AIDS specialist, and in the next few minutes, I'll walk you through exactly what happens, day by day, in the critical first week after infection. You'll learn how the virus enters your system, how it hides, how it silently attacks the immune system, and why early detection in this window could mean the difference between life and death. This is the medical truth most people never hear until it's too late. The first stage of HIV is called acute HIV infection, also known as primary HIV infection or acute retroviral syndrome. This begins immediately after a person is exposed and typically lasts two to four weeks. During this time, the virus rapidly multiplies and spreads throughout the body. It invades and attacks your CD4 T cells, the very immune cells designed to protect you. The viral load, the amount of virus in your blood, skyrockets. And here's what's terrifying. Most people have no idea they've been infected. They're feeling slightly unwell or nothing at all but they are highly infectious, passing the virus unknowingly to others. Day-by-day -day breakdown, first seven days of HIV. Let's walk through what really happens, one day at a time. Day zero, the moment of exposure. This is the exact moment HIV enters your body. This might happen through unprotected vaginal or anal sex, shared needles or syringes, blood transfusion, though rare today in most countries, in rare cases, occupational exposure. Within hours, HIV begins moving toward your lymph nodes, seeking out immune cells to hijack. Day 1 to 2. Viral invasion begins. The moment HIV enters the body, usually through unprotected sex, blood exposure, or other transmission routes, it wastes no time. Within the first 24 to 48 hours, the virus begins a stealth mission deep within your immune system. Its first target, the CD4 T cells, which are the very heart of your body's defense system. These cells are like commanders of the immune army, and HIV knows that if it can take them over, it can win the war. The virus latches onto a CD4 cell, injects its genetic material RNA inside, and uses an enzyme called reverse transcriptase to turn that RNA into DNA. It's a brutal twist, because once inside, the virus doesn't destroy the cell immediately. Instead, it rewrites its instructions, turning that CD4 cell into a virus-producing factory. From this point on, your immune system is being hijacked from within. The terrifying part? You feel absolutely nothing. There are no symptoms in these early days. You may be going to work, sleeping well, eating normally, living your life, completely unaware that the virus is already spreading rapidly through your body. By the end of day two, HIV has already begun to multiply silently, setting the stage for a full-body invasion that will unfold over the next few days. This is why early detection is so critical. Because by the time symptoms appear, the virus has already gained a massive head start. Day three to five, the rapid replication phase. By day three, HIV is no longer just infiltrating, it's multiplying aggressively unleashing a full-scale viral assault on your body. After quietly invading your CD for T cells during the first 48 hours, the virus now moves deeper into your bloodstream, spreading like wildfire. It doesn't stay confined to the site of entry. It travels fast, using your own circulatory system like a highway to reach distant parts of your body. Its next destination, the lymphatic system, 
the command center of your immune response. HIV infiltrates your lymph nodes, tonsils, spleen, and gut-associated lymph tissue, all of which are rich in CD4 T cells. Once there, it begins mass-producing copies of itself, hijacking cell after cell and turning them into virus factories. The number of viral particles, known as the viral load, rises exponentially during this time. And yet, you still feel fine. You might go about your daily routine without a single warning sign. Or you may begin to notice something subtle, a little more tired than usual. Perhaps a light headache, or the sense that you're coming down with something, but nothing serious enough to sound alarm bells. Meanwhile, beneath the surface, your immune system is being blindsided. It hasn't realized there's a full-blown invasion underway. There are no antibodies yet, and no specific immune response kicking in. The virus is ahead of the game, multiplying, spreading, and quietly building its army. By day 5, millions of new HIV particles may already be circulating through your body. It's during this stage when people feel healthy and symptoms are minimal that HIV is most infectious to others. This is the silent danger of acute HIV infection. This is why early testing and awareness matter. Because by the time your body starts reacting, HIV has already declared war inside you. Day 6 to 7. The immune system wakes up. Nearly a week has passed since HIV first entered the body, silently multiplying, hijacking cells, and spreading deep into lymphatic tissues. Until now, your immune system has been unaware, caught completely off guard. But by day six or seven, that starts to change. For the first time, your body begins to notice something is wrong. Your innate immune system, the body's first line of defense, begins to respond. It doesn't yet recognize HIV specifically, but it detects signs of viral disruption. In response, your cells begin producing interferons, powerful antiviral proteins that signal the body that an invader is present. It's like your internal alarm system just tripped. You may begin to feel the effects, though very subtly. Many people report a slight fever, a general feeling of being off or unusually fatigued, a scratchy or sore throat body aches, similar to mild flu symptoms. But these signs are so vague, they're often dismissed as nothing, just a long work week, a minor cold, or changing weather. Few people think, could this be HIV? Yet inside your body, a massive invisible battle has begun. This is also the point when some medical tests, especially the nucleic acid test NAT, may start to detect the virus in your bloodstream. While standard HIV antibody tests may still return negative at this stage, more sensitive molecular tests could reveal the truth. This phase is critical. The virus is now known to the body, and soon the adaptive immune system will join the fight. But by then, HIV will have already gained a terrifying head start. By the time you begin to feel the faintest symptoms, a mild fever, some fatigue, maybe a sore throat, the virus has already been active inside you for days, and yet, most people still test too late. Why? Because standard HIV tests are not designed to detect the virus this early. During the first week after exposure, your body hasn't yet produced the antibodies that most rapid tests or traditional lab tests look for. That's why, a standard HIV test, especially one taken just a few days after a risky exposure, will likely come back negative even if you're already infected. But that doesn't mean the virus isn't there. It just means you're testing too soon for the wrong thing. If you truly suspect exposure, especially during this early stage, you need a more advanced tool. The nucleic acid test, NAT, or AHIV RNA test. These tests don't wait for your body to respond. They look for the virus itself, directly in your bloodstream. And in many cases, NAT can detect HIV as early as day 6 to 7, just as your body is waking up to the infection. This is why timing is everything. Getting tested too early with the wrong test can give you a false sense of safety. While the virus continues to replicate inside you and potentially spread to others. So, if you've had recent exposure, especially within the past 7 to 14 days, talk to a healthcare provider about getting a nucleic acid test. It could be the difference between early detection and misdiagnosis. 
because with HIV, every day counts. The first week after HIV exposure is one of the most dangerous yet misunderstood stages of the infection. Why? Because during this time, the virus is spreading faster than your body can react, and you don't even know it's happening. This is the stage where HIV is at its most aggressive, multiplying by the millions. It travels through your blood, infects your lymphatic system, and hijacks your immune cells, all while your body is still completely unaware. You feel fine, you look fine, you live life as usual, and that's the danger. Most people don't suspect anything. They think it's just fatigue, maybe a cold, or nothing at all. So they don't get tested, they don't isolate, they don't protect others, and during this short window, the acute infection phase, HIV is at its most infectious. That means even the smallest exposure to someone newly infected can carry an extremely high risk of transmission. It's not just dangerous for the person infected, it's dangerous for everyone they come in contact with. Even worse, standard HIV tests often fail during this week because the body hasn't produced detectable antibodies yet. So someone could get tested, receive a false negative, and continue unknowingly spreading the virus. That's why this first week is so critical. It's silent, it's invisible, and it's highly infectious. Understanding and recognizing this stage is the key to breaking the chain of transmission, getting early treatment, and saving lives, including your own. If you've had a recent exposure and now feel unwell, don't guess. Test, if you're a partner, a parent, a friend, share this video, you might save someone's life. This channel is about truth, health, and early awareness. And if you value that, I'd love to have you here. Subscribe to Lifelong Vitality for more life-saving health facts explained the way doctors do with honesty and care. Stay aware, stay tested, stay safe.